Lionel Messi is having a blast in the MLS. Overnight, La Pulga's Inter Miami took on Atlanta United in the League's Cup. After crowning his debut with a match-winning cameo, last night's encounter marked Messi's first start for the Florida-based franchise. Ahead of kickoff, the Argentine led his team out alongside DJ Khaled's son. And just like any dotting parent, the 2022 World Cup winner made sure to console the teary-eyed youngster. Once the referee started proceedings, it didn't take Messi Messi long to make his presence known. In just the eighth minute following a fine through ball from Sergio Busquets, La Pulga opened the scoring. A goal made in La Masia for an audience in Miami. But he wasn't finished there. In the 22nd minute, he doubled his side's advantage after converting Robert Taylor's cutback. In the second period, Messi returned the favor threading Taylor into all but finish the tie. By the 77th minute, the former Barca man's work was done, leaving the field to a standing ovation. Eventually, the home side prevailed, sealing a comprehensive 4-0 win. Messi has made an immediate impact on US soil. In just over 90 minutes of action so far, he's already notching three goals and registering an additional assist. And after having ended their dismal streak of 11 games without a win, the side co-owned by David Beckham have now won both of their games since the Argentine's arrival. The club will be hoping to build on that momentum as they return to MLS duty against Charlotte FC on the 21st of August. As a reminder, the side currently sit bottom of the Eastern Conference. But moving on now and sticking with Messi of sorts. It appears La Pulga left PSG with a parting gift. According to RMC, Messi advised club president Nasser Al Khelaifi to sign England skipper Harry Kane. He is said to have hinted that the Spurs striker represents the perfect profile to take the Parisians to the next level. But how so? Well, Kane is equally a adept at playing as a traditional number 9, but also possesses the quality to drop in deep and help build up play. Al Khelaifi is said to have taken the Argentine's view on board, leading him to pursue a move. Unfortunately, however, Bayern Munich have stolen a march on the quest for his services. The Bavarian giants are said to be willing to splash 116 million euros on the man that scored 30 goals in the Premier League last season. The Sun have also added that discussions between Bayern Chiefs and Tottenham chairman Dan Daniel Levy have been scheduled for Friday. Kane's possible arrival in Germany would help the perennial Bundesliga champions offset their forward line issues. Having been devoid of a number 9 of note since Robert Lewandowski's departure last summer. Following his Allianz Arena exit, the 34-year-old Polish striker joined La Liga giants Barcelona. In his first season with the Catalan club, he won the league title and claimed the Pichichi. And now it appears he's caught the eye of Saudi Arabian side Al Hilal. According to Mundo Deportivo, the club have made him their priority target for next summer. Tied to Barca until 2026, the Saudi Pro League outfit were linked with a move with the talismanic striker this summer. But the former Borussia men rebuked their advances, claiming he's had other priorities at the moment. But who knows, money changes minds in football, so he might be joining the call of European stars soon enough. After their stratospheric offer for Kylian Mbappe, Al Hilal could look to link the pair up together in attack.